All right, this is the honky wagon. This is my TRX4 Sport on an Enjora LCG kit. I did a video about this when I first put it together. <clears throat> Man, allergies are killing me out here. Anyhow, uh, Enjora LCG kit. TRX4 Sport. I uh, just recently, well, hear me. It's got a Fusion 1800 SE in it, or SE 1800 in it. A Flash Hobby 60, which these are okay for the money. They twitch once they get wet. They start twitching quite a bit. I think the water is what's doing it. Um, I have the long links in the kit, and I have them on. I think E Revo rod ends, Traxxas 5525 uh, rod ends to make them just that much longer. And the drive shaft, this is an axial drive shaft with a TRX four ends. I just kind of jammed it in there. They don't necessarily fit together. I don't know if a Defender or High Trail drive shaft uh, will fit with those rod ends. I, this is just what I had on hand. Uh, so I think it's just at 13 inches or maybe a little over. Uh, just a 1500 3S battery, Flysky GT5 receiver and uh, radio. And then just recently I added quite a bit of brass. And it might be just a little bit too much. I don't know. It's pretty heavy now. Um, and I did Enjora underdrive gears. I'm just kind of out here testing it all out. This is the first run with the underdrive gears and all that brass. So far, it's all right. I like it. Uh, this truck has been absolutely killer and uh, very, very reliable. These uh, tires, BFG crawlers from Proline, and uh, it's got Banff tire inserts on it uh, medium in the rear soft in the front i think that's what it is um it does have a servo on axle from one tenth scale the boco buy once cry once and then i had to bend a link to fit the sc uh the fusion sc in there i don't know if you can see it can you see that that upper link because no, the kit comes with a uh, chassis mounted servo mount uh well it doesn't come with it you got to buy it which is was this and i kind of hacked that up i like it a lot better servo on axle especially out here it's a little bit more i don't know extreme terrain out here do a lot of vertical climbs uh, which the long wheelbase is killer for uh and it naturally every what's what it falls and the pan hard mount track bar mount whatever you want to call it it uh it don't like it <laughs> those usually break off pretty easy uh, i do have a rear link riser um that's from deluxe fab i like it i got my links set up on the most forward mount or most forward uh hole there i wish there was a little bit more uh, holes to adjust like higher ones up here No biggie though I think if you have a TRX4 Sport and you're looking to go to the next level This kit is the absolute best bang for your buck $60 comes with links comes with rod ends comes with the skid The only thing it doesn't come with is the servo mount And that's pretty cheap. I think I got that brass one for uh 15 bucks i don't know something like that this is uh money in the bank very well very well uh put together or engineered however you want to say it very good bang for the bunk uh if you have a trx4 sport you got any questions let me know i'm happy to answer anything i know the answer to of course but uh, yeah, this is, I love this truck. No regrets at all. 
Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm gonna run a few other hard lines out here and then uh, probably wrap it up. I just wanted to give a little update to this truck. All right, thanks for watching. I just hit 1,000 subscribers. So uh, thanks everybody for watching actually. Tell your friends, share my videos, all that stuff. I think I'm sitting at like uh, 2,500 uh, hours. You have to have 1,000 views and 4,000 watch hours in 12 month period to get monetized. And I'm close, I just hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm at like 2,500 uh, watch hours. So yeah, thanks everybody for, for watching and paying attention. All right, let's hit some more lines. Take the right bounce to get up there. There it goes. Not noticed a huge difference with the underdrive gears, but I have noticed the brass. And like I said, this is the first time out here with it. Maybe I'll have to try the uh, overdrive gears in the rear, or in the front, I mean. Ooh. 
but it's a hard ledge to get over right there. There it goes. Let's see, this is kind of tricky too. Bumpers dug in. Woo! That's a tough one. I'm telling y'all this. Jorah kit is very good bang for your buck. Yes, sir. Monkey wagon, boy. That sucker's doing great. Like I said, I don't, I didn't notice too much the uh, underdrive gears, uh, but the brass definitely helped. I know a lot of people try to keep their trucks real light, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm taking that off. It did pretty good. I didn't really see it hindered me too much. I may look into the. Uh, what you call it the overdrive gears now just to see if i like that or not you know never ending uh tuning it and testing it and all that other stuff anyhow that was an update on what i got on the uh enjora trx4 kit you should buy it if you're into performance more than scale you should buy it i mean i'm sure you can make it look scale but whatever all right Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.